The title that I want to use today is What's in Your Bag? What's in your bag? The Art of Multiplication. I think this is a very interesting passage of scripture here. Uh, what we have here is we have a master and then we have three servants. When we take a look at this, the master, he can be depicted here in scripture as God. And then the three servants can be depicted in a global view, can be depicted as mankind or all of humanity. What we see with these particular servants here in this story is that they all had something in common. Matter of fact, they have four things in common that I want to show you. Um, Each servant had what we know today as equal employment opportunity. (laughs) This is where EEO really came from. (laughs) And so the four things that they all had in common, they all had gifts, they all had abilities, they all had time, and they all had responsibility. Also, when someone gives you a gift, it is to hold on to the gift and make use of the gift. That's what the idea is. And so it's not that we give it back to the sender. And so they all had gifts. This was one thing that they had in common is that they all had gifts. So nobody had something that the other one didn't have in terms of gifts. The next thing that they had in common was ability. They all had ability. They were able to do something. Now, the ability was determined by what was in the bag. The scripture says that these, the, the gift was divided in proportion according to their abilities. Now, the, now, he, now he, here's something that we, we have to be mindful of, is that you never compare yourself to other people because when you start thinking about what you're able to do and what other people are able to do, sometimes you can feel a little bit inferior if they're able to do a little bit more than you. And so we have to be mindful of not comparing ourselves to other people because, again, this wasn't a competition and it wasn't about comparing. It was based, the gift in the bag was based on the ability. Now, we all have different abilities because we're all different. We all have different personalities. We all have different characteristics. So that means that our abilities at the same time will be different. Now, me being tall, that's, that's one of the benefits. I get to see a lot of things that other people can't see. <laughs> it's different up here. You know, it's different at the top, you know. <laughs> But that, that, that's just one of the abilities that I have, though, you know, thank God. And so, but we all have different abilities. Some people can run faster than other people. Some people can write better than other people. Some people have the ability to problem solve a little bit better than other people do. But we all have abilities. This was one of the things that they had in common. They had gifts and they had abilities. And then they had time. They all were given time. And there was an unsaid expectation of what to do with your time. The question becomes, what are you doing with your time? How productive are you being with your time? Some people carry the notion or the thought that some people have more than 24 hours um, because they're able to get so much done. And, you know, I was one of those guys who believed that I'm like, Elon Musk has to have more than 24 hours in a day. There's no way that he can have the same 24 hours that I have. But at the same time, when you start to think about it and when you're really honest with yourself, you think about, hey, maybe I can manage my time or store my time a little bit better than what I do. And so the question becomes, what am I doing with the time that I've been given by the master? How am I managing my time every single day? The final thing that they had in common was responsibility. They had gifts, they had ability, they had time, and then finally they had responsibility. When he came back, the only thing he said was, to the good ones anyway, he said, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful in a small amount. Now I will add many more responsibilities to you. There's nothing like a responsible person. Employers love responsible people. They love it. I, I, I remember when I was in, in, in the engineering and technology world, and I remember coming home one day complaining to my wife. Forgive me for complaining, but I was complaining to my wife. And so I came home and said, it seems like they give me everything. It seems like they give me all the assignments. It's 10 people on the team. Why am I the only one getting all of the assignments? That was my question. So I came home complaining, and then I realized after moments of time is that they were entrusting responsibilities to the person that they thought would be faithful 
and to the person that they thought had the ability and to the person that they thought could get it done. I mean, now, I think this is the cleverness of God here because the master gave away a number of eight bags, eight total bags. He gave five to one, he gave two to another, and then he gave one to the final servant. Eight bags. If you know anything about biblical numbers, the number of eight is the number of new beginnings. What I believe God is saying here is that the gift in your bag or the bag that you have is your opportunity for a new beginning. That's what I believe God is illustrating here. This is a time for opportunity if you use what's in your bag, but you have to use it. You have to open the gift and you have to use it in order to exercise and receive that favor of God to see new opportunities.